Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Layers Manager. Okay, so I have this simple scene set up, and I want to show you the Layers Manager down here at the bottom right-hand corner. You have this little tab here you can press on Layers. And what this does is it gives you the ability to organize your, your scene and your object manager by using a color system within the layer manager. And I'll show you what I mean. If the best way to make a layer in the layer manager is to just double click in the layer manager anywhere within this area of your layer manager. It's similar to if you're gonna make a material, you just double click. So double click and you'll see you have a layer and you can double click on the layer to change the name if you would like. And you'll notice that you have a bunch of these little icons here. So in order to assign an object, uh, some object here that you have in your objects manager, a layer, what you can simply do is just click and drag and drag that to one of your objects. Now, let me undo, or um, actually, let me double click. I think I'll, I'm gonna double click and make another layer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to control click and drag and apply this to this object here, this cube one. Now, this, by holding down control and click and dragging, your layer onto your object. Not only does it assign it this layer, uh, this layer, this pink second, it also assigns it to your your the children of this object. So it's another way of adding in a layer and assigning objects a layer. Now let's take a look at a few of the things that we have here at this on these icons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another layer. And you can name these anything you want. I'm just naming these arbitrary first, second, third. And I'm going to put this onto this other one, this cube. It has a bend deformer on. And we have this fourth. So let's take a look at our first layer here and we'll take a look at some of the things that we have within this icon uh, on the side here. So we have first it's going to be assigned to this extrude. Now you'll notice that we have a few of these icons. When I click on this first one, this is solo. So it's going to solo out everything except this one object. So you can imagine if I put on this layer to our circle and that's for an extrude, you can see that this object is soloed out within our viewport. So anything that th is not assigned to this layer is gets hidden within our viewport and our object manager. Now we have this visibility so anything that's in this layer, and I click on it, it just hides it, the visibility in your viewport. Now this icon will be render. So if I render, you can see that it hides the render of that object. It renders everything else except that one object. Now next here we have hide our anything in, within our managers. So we have M for manager. It's, it's a good way to kind of understand what a lot of these icons mean. Solo, visibility, render, and then manager. So say for an example, you have a lot of, a lot of objects set up. If I go to my, uh, if I press V on my keyboard and I go to this other uh, document that I have, 
you can see that I have a, a lot more stuff within my my viewport. And it may not seem like it's important when you only have a few objects like in my other scene, but for an example, if I wanted to clean up my my um my object manager and there's just so many things that sometimes it's very useful to be able to hide some of your objects and just to clean up your visual field and kind of solo out a, a bunch of things that are in your object manager so it's very useful when you have some pretty complex scenes you have lights you have cameras you have backgrounds and all these different objects within your scene uh, it can be very useful to have this being able to hide uh, things within your object manager. And here we can lock out an object. So if we want to start working within our scene and we don't want to disrupt a certain part in our scene. And you know if we, we want to make sure that it's very sensitive so we don't want to move it or budge it in, in any way. We can just lock it within our layer. So that's very useful if you're working within a 3D model and there's a lot of different parts and you want to make sure that it's a very accurate model. Like say, say for an example, uh, an engine for a car um, and you don't want to accidentally budge something uh, for a client, you want to make sure it's got to be absolutely precise. This is a good way to lock out uh, your layers and not worry about that you might actually budge things. You're moving fast, you're trying to get things done, so sometimes mistakes happen. So it's a good way to lock things out. Similar to like if you were in Photoshop, you can lock out a layer so you don't accidentally mis um, move it. Okay, so moving on to the animation, uh, this is what this icon is. It's for animation, so you can um, hide that within your, if you're doing uh, any type of animation. And then we also have a generator. So if you hide this, uh, press this icon, it's going to hide all the generators within this layer. And we have one for an extrude. Now we also have uh, one for deformer, D for deformer. Now I'm going to go to my other object here. That's this blue one here. So that's third. So if I go down to deformer, you can see it's going to hide the deformers within this whatever layer, whatever object is assigned to this layer. And then we have expre expressions here. I don't have any expressions in the scene, but it would hide any type of expressions. And then we have this X here, which is XREF, and that stands for external reference uh, file, that if you have a bunch of other users on your team, they can edit that ex external file. So you can hide that as well within your scene. So this is a very useful layer mat, uh, uh, very useful when you're, you're using your projects. It's something that's kind of overlooked. It's something you kind of don't really use because you have a lot of these functions here, let's the stoplights and these check marks that you have within your scene. And that's great. And you may not even need to use your layer manager. But when you start getting into some more complex scenes, and you have a lot of different stuff going on, it's the layer manager almost becomes an essential part of your workflow because it's just gonna clean up your visual field. It's gonna allow you to quickly solo out things when you're working on, on, on something. I highly recommend using this, even if you're just using for a smaller scene. It's a good idea to get used to using the layer manager. It's gonna make your workflow a lot better, a lot faster, and it's just gonna be a lot more, uh, it's gonna be, you're gonna enjoy it more because it's gonna clean up your visual field when you need to. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I made so far at astronomicskills.com. Also, I created a Udemy course 
for beginner 3D modeling in Cinema 4D. I would value your opinion and if you could take a look at it and review it, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.